Welcome to a smack of Smackdown. This is not going to be a review. I'm still doing what my thoughts are on this show. It's going to be loose. I'm just going to say whatever the hell is on my head or in my mind. You know what I get. You, you know what I mean. Let's be honest here. This show was okay. I know a lot of people say this was a damn good show. Honestly, you don't know where they're going with SmackDown because you still got you got Hell in a Cell. What we don't know is about to happen, even though they're already I haven't seen the advertisement for Hell in a Cell, so I don't know what is going to happen. You still have Saudi Arabia, and you still have the Survivor Series. And I don't know where they're building. Because what they just showed on this show, I don't know where they're building. Are they building for Hell in a Cell? Which I don't think they are. Are they building, I believe they're going to Saudi Arabia as well as doing Survivor Series. So where are they building? As far as I can tell, I don't know. Because when it comes to this show, I don't know where they're going. This just was a good outing, but it shows no direction whatsoever. This is just me. I don't see a direction of where they're going. Not as a television show, but for the freaking pay-per-views, which is three of them in the next couple of months, counting October into November, and I believe there's going to be two shows in November. This show that's coming now, and then a show for Saudi Arabia, and then a show for Survivor Series. That's three shows within two to two and a half months. You tell me. Where are they going? The opening I enjoyed. The Rock was great. Becky kind of felt a little cringy when she was trying to make things work. Because when The Rock was doing it, The Rock was on. I wish he was basically on, on SmackDown. I don't believe he's going to have a match with Baron Corgan. I just don't believe this is just one-off. But it just felt good to see The Rock. Hearing him basically say, who the hell do you think you are? Being better than a man in The Rock. Who do you think you are? Having balls bigger than a man in The Rock. And then... The one of the two best lines that Becky did was that I don't got no balls, but if I did, they'd be bigger than his. I enjoyed that line. That was a, that was a good line. The STD line where she's trying to say a super tough dude felt very cringy. But once the STD chant began, it did compensate for it. The crowd loved the freaking rock. They did. The rock went they went ape, ape, ape shit for The Rock. I enjoyed seeing The Rock. I never have a problem with The Rock coming back. He did start SmackDown. He opened the show saying, I started this show because of one catchphrase. That shows how freaking great I am. And this is where I kind of wish The Rock would come back. Even if he can't wrestle, I would love to see him in a man managerian form. I wish he was a manager. I wish he would take off a year or two of doing TV. Uh, no, not TV. I think he's done. He's going to do one TV show. No, no. He's not doing any TV show. He's doing only movies. I wish he would take off doing movies for a year. year and a half. And just be a manager. He don't even have to get in the ring. Just be a manager, Rock. We will love you. That's what I want. Now, the set. I like the set. I did. But I got to say this. How come you see on Raw, they did three or four. Pyros, and you only did one for SmackDown. I could be wrong because I did leave the video running. I had to go and do something, um, had to answer a phone call. I didn't have time to just stop the video, so I was talking to somebody. It was, uh, hell first trying to bottom me. It just, ugh. that pl that kind of gets on my nerves. Hearing the medical insurance trying to get you to sign up with something else, you don't want to hear it. You're busy doing something else. You say, hey, get the F off my phone, or I'm busy. So I didn't see. If there was pyro for somebody else. There was only pyro for one person as far as I know. And that was Roman Reigns. What's up with that? You guys tell me. Was there more pyro in the show? Unless I missed it. As far as I know. There was only one pyro set. I could be wrong though. I could be wrong. I'm not going to lie. I could be wrong. We got that tag match that I don't understand. I'm not talking about the one with. Maybe I should do that one first before I get to the women's tag match. Look, seeing that Fury, who is, I don't remember the guy's first name, but Fury is the world heavyweight champion right now. And he may be going up against Braun Strowman. Fine. I'm more than happy. But where 
are they going to possibly have the match? I don't think it's Hell in the Cell. Just don't see it. If it is, that's dumb. You're putting that match on a throwaway pay-per-view. Because if I know them, they're going... Well, take this back. There's three shows that's happening in the next two months. There is Hell in a Cell that's coming up this weekend. Well, this is Saturday, so it's coming up tomorrow. Then you're going to have the Saudi Arabia show. I don't remember what they're going to call it. I don't think they're going to call it Crown Jewel again. They're going to call it maybe Super Show again. I don't know. I haven't checked. And then you got Survivor Series. So you're going to waste that on this show that's coming. I doubt it. Maybe it'll be for Saudi Arabia. Or I would love it if they just put it for Survivor Series and build it up. I don't see them doing it. But that's what I'm hoping for. That Braun Strowman and Fury, the World Heavyweight Boxing Champion, has something at Survivor Series. Not for Crown Jewel. But that's just me. The women's tag match pissed me off. Flat out. I'm done. Because there was no point in having it. You got the Raw Women's Champion and her challenger. SmackDown Women's Champion and the challenger. They're not on the same sides. They're on different sides. But why are you putting the challengers up against one another? Why are you putting the champions up against the challengers? Why? Why? And then instead of doing a DQ or some type of interference or something, try not to let one get pinned over the other. You got Bailey get pinned over Charlotte. Why? Now, I've already said Bailey is a plot device. And we already know Charlotte's going to eventually win. And they're going to keep having a win as much as possible because it feels like they're trying to equal her to her dad. She's got eight reigns. Or is it nine? I can't remember. What is she going to have? Either nine or ten reigns as champion that is meaningless. You got a woman who's won at least eight or nine championships, which mean zero. I don't care how much you guys love a Charlotte Flair. What is she doing? Why would they give her so many reigns? And she's not the greatest wrestler. I'm sorry, she's not. You got Sasha who comes in first. You got Becky coming in second. You got Bailey coming in third. You got Ember Moon coming in fourth. And the only reason I put her lower is because we barely see her. We got Asuka, the same condition, in fifth. And then you got Charlotte who is sixth. Sixth place. And she's a good wrestler, but she's not like any of the others. She just isn't. And now she has either eight or nine title reigns. That mean nothing. You guys tell me below why I'm wrong. Why her eight to nine title reigns mean something. And you can't say because she had a match with Sasha. Because we know Sasha is one of the top ones number one in my book. You can exchange Bailey for Sasha if you want. Because both of them are very good. The reason I put Becky second is because she's champ and she earned it. But you get my point. Let's. I'm confused. Because you have the match. That lumberjack match. Which I, I, I don't get no pictures of it. There's no point. You guys tell me why would you put them in this situation. A lumberjack match between Rowan. Roman. The lumberjacks. It wasn't necessary. You could have just let Roman deal with a Daniel Bryan talking to each other. Yeah, you could have Eric and Luke come out and fight with them. You didn't need a match. It just felt like it was a waste. And now let's go to the ending of the show. I'm, if I'm missing something tough. This is no review. This is just my thoughts. Kofi getting destroyed within maybe three seconds. He charges at a Brock Lesnar. Gets F5. He doesn't get kicked in the face. He didn't get punched. He got nothing. He got grabbed. Thrown into an F5. I count, not counting the 1, 2, 3. He gets nailed within about three, within 2 seconds maybe. And even Corey Graves says it himself. I think that's a record. Wow. I... You see how quick they want a Brock to destroy him so they can move on to, I think, Kane Martinez. That's the UFC fighter that beat Brock for the UFC championship when he was a champion. It's just, sorry for the noise, guys. 
they're, they're working around here. But honestly, this, this just looked bad for Kobe. It was ugly to just to pick him up, grab him, F5 him, and he does nothing. They made his ass lay down for Brock. You would have thought maybe he'd get a little bit of defense in. Just a little bit of making him look like a credible threat. At least, not a credible threat, but at least a worthy opponent to a Brock. At least throw him off a little bit, even if he staggers him maybe once. Then that fives him. <laughs> Nothing. He gets his ass whooped. Whooped. Not only like he owed someone money, that he not only owed money, he got some woman pregnant that belonged to somebody else. He got a bitch slapped. And then after finding out he got the girl pregnant, then she bitch slaps him. And then the mama of him bitch slaps him. That's how bad it looked. Now, I know that sounds stupid. I'm just saying that just because of it. Look, this show, I'm going to say it like this. Where are they going? I know everybody else is going to say this is a great show. I'm not saying it was bad. But where are they going? You just set up a whole bunch of stuff. You got three pay-per-views. One of them coming up this Sunday. Where are we going? Where are we going? What are you building into WWE? Because I don't know. But this is my point of view. I hope you enjoyed the Smack of Smackdown. Watch out for my... Okay, I gotta say Smack of Smackdown like that. Sorry. And watch for my Hell in a Cell because I will be doing it. Have a good day. Have a good night. Peace.